What's up, YouTube? This is Sea Dog, and I'm back with my daily reviews. This is on the NECA Toys RoboCop Holster Action RoboCop. As you can see, we have the packaging in the background. There's a few things I wanted to go over really quickly before I got into the review. And we'll start by looking at the packaging. This is the packaging. We've got the little artwork there of RoboCop. Uh, this is my first RoboCop figure, but I've loved RoboCop since I was a kid. I, you know, it's one of those things that if it's on TV, I'll probably watch it for at least for a few minutes, if not the entire show. Um, I'm not like 100% versed in every one of the the words and everything, but anyways, you got part man, part machine, all cop, the future of law enforcement. You do want to read these instructions on the back. It shows a push-up lever on the back of the leg. And it says, press down on front panel only to, this is how you take the leg, or how you open the leg, and then to close it, you just, you press down on the front panel only. Um, side panel automatically retracts closed after you do that. And I will show you that. And as you can see, and one of the things I wanted to go over, you can see Robocop, we have a little warning, um, was the packaging itself of how they package this figure. So just taking the package out really quickly here. You do want to be aware that if you see this, there's some holes here. See how they kind of go through? I'm on the other side here. You can't get through. How it kind of goes right through. You The legs go through the back, and these parts are ultra delicate. And what these are, are in the back, he has um, these parts and they're in there you know it it goes like that and it goes it's like a piston and they're glued like that and i can glue them back on that's not a problem i think this is for this leg actually but you get the idea and the way it's put in there the way it's put in there is the legs are behind there probably to protect the pistons from getting rubbed up against in the packaging but the hands are put in here which isn't a problem. You do want to be careful to spike. The One of the accessories is a spike. It's in there. Mine is okay. Um, but mine came broken out of the packaging, both of these pistons. Personally, I don't really care because I can, you know, I can just, I can just make it look like it and I can also glue it on. But, um, it's something you want to be careful of. A lot of people will care about something like that. Next next thing is the paint. As you can see, we have a paint flake right here that's on the ground. And I do believe it came from the arm. Uh, maybe not, but you can see a little scraping on the arm right there. So you want to be very careful of the paint, if, especially if you're a person that cares about chip paint and things like that. All right, now moving on to go to the review. Get the packaging out of the way. We have RoboCop here, and he's freaking awesome. I mean, I, this is my first RoboCop. He's, you know, his articulation could use some, um, use some points, but uh, but he's just cool, man. He looks good. He looks like RoboCop. He does have articulation, and if you learn to use the joints right, you can um, uh, have a lot of fun with him. One thing, another thing you want to be careful with is this retracting and. Um, opening leg compartment if you don't do it right i mean the par parts pop off very easily and you just want to make sure you know exactly how to do it and you read the instructions on top of that if you don't understand them fully watch a video you know like this one all right um he's got great paint job he's got all silver paint done really nicely it's over the entire figure He's got like a gloss black for his his belly here. Let's see if we can get a better, a little better light here. You can see the gloss black, and he's got gloss black for his hands. Metallic silver paint, maybe a couple coatings or something on his arms, his chest, his head, his entire legs, except for the joint work in his. Let's see, it's not even the joints though. It's it's done to make it look accurate. But you can see in the knees there are some black. Uh, he has a little bit of black in the joints and his ankles. But he does have silver feet in, as well. The sculpt work is phenomenal. Looks great. Looks just like Robocop did in the 80s. 
It's even got those little rings on top that you would never find in a little action figure from a, you know, from a normal toy company. NECA does great figures. I've only gotten a few of them myself, but I, I do appreciate all the Pacific Rim figures, although I don't have any. I think they look great. Um, but yeah, I was just noticing, if you notice, this thumb is shorter on this side. It's like a shortened thumb. Looks kind of like it's broke off, but I think that's the way it's made compared to this thumb. See, long thumb, short thumb, but it's made to hold the gun. Uh, it does come with some accessories. One is the gun inside the leg, and two is this hand. And just, you know, another thing you want to be careful about, what I did is instead of, I don't have a hair dryer, but I have a heater that blows, so I just put him in front of the heater really quick, and the sticky joints and stuff were not a problem. See, now he comes off no problem. This one I, I didn't use the heater with, but... He has his data spike that he used in the film. Looks great. Nice detail. Attention to detail. It's got a silver spike. The gloss um, black paintwork done really nicely. And you can use it as a swivel. See? But as you as you can tell, he's really stiff because I didn't I haven't heated up this this one right here. This one, however, I have, and you can see the difference. <laughs> So until I heat this one up, I'm not going to use it too much, but we will check it out really quickly. Um, and uh, yeah. Not bad, huh? Pretty cool. And it's very sharp and very delicate, so I would be very careful with it. But you can see the details on the knuckles, the line work in the gloves, on the top of the glove. You got the details here on the inside of the glove. Very nice. Um, he's got nice details on his abdomen. Right here, you can see all that. It's looking cool. It's on black, but you can see all the detail work on his arms, his chest. Those rings, like I told you. Sweet looking. His legs. Moving down. He's got like little... Uh, OCP details and writing inside there. Like he's property of OCP. It says OCP Police 0001. Sorry, 001. Moving down to the calves. So yeah, he's he's very detailed up. Looks good. Um, let me just move this thing up a little bit. You're looking at his head. He's got that Murdoch head sculpt looking just like he did in the movie. You got the details in the back of the head where that, where he put the, um, I think his spike goes in there or something to reboot him or something. Although it says police 001 on the top there. Let's see what we get. Yeah, OCP police. And that's, so looking at articulation. Actually, we'll do one more thing first. So to take the gun, you want or to eject the gun, you push in right upwards. So you push upwards like that. And he pops right open. And as you can see, the firearm's in there nicely. And this is on a hinge, so it swings. But you don't really want to mess with that because if you look, it's on those clips. It's not pinned in there. If it was pinned in there, that'd be great, I think. But, um, but he do, it does come out. But I'm going to show you how to close it first. So you just push with the, just this one side, and it will retract close like that. So beautiful job right there, NECA. Open. Closed. All right. So I'll take the gun out. I'll try. Hopefully I don't eject the whole thing. But um, let me get my trusty scissors to get this thing out. trying to be careful because I'm reaching ahead of me too. Let's see, it's not easy to take the gun out reaching ahead. There. There we go. Alright, so the gun is just a black pistol. There's not too many details on it, but it does have some. No paintwork, but that's because it's probably because it's coming in and out of the leg so 
can see the line work down there. You can see it doesn't have a trigger though, but you can see it does have line work in the sculpt back here. If you can see that. Uh, that line works too small, but he does fit in his hand nicely, and you can use it as a around the trigger finger, like that. So it looks good. So that's cool. All right. So now we'll go over articulation. Last but not least, um, let me get my lights set up. Sorry about that, guys. My lights set up differently. All right, so articulation, he does swing outward on his arms just a little bit. They do go forward all the way around. It will swing all the way around if you want. There's no bicep swivel, but you do have an elbow bend that's about, I don't know, 75 degrees or so, and you can you can kind of get it to go up higher if you really kind of, you kind of push on it a little bit. He does have a wrist swivel at the top of the glove. It's not the wrist, but as you can see, it's up here. Uh, the same with this side here. I'm going to remove his gun out of the way. Um, you can pop off his hands. So I showed you that. On both sides, I believe. And this side does swivel out as well. You have a ball jointed head that will look down about that much. And if you push it back enough, you can get it to look up just a tad. He has a little bit of neck pivot. And he will turn 360 all the way around. He does have an ab crunch. I don't think anyone would really... If they're not paying attention, you're not going to know. But he does look, you know, he can do a flying pose or something. I wonder if that's why it's made. Plus, it's um, it swivels up here. And I guess it's not an ab crunch. I guess it's more of a... But there's a waist swivel, too. There's a regular waist swivel down in the lower spot. And then you can swivel up here as well. Plus, it will go side to side. So that's cool. All right. He can swing his legs up and back, but if you look, it's on a, a single joint. There's only just minimal outward swing, but there is enough to get it like a little bit of a wide pose. Whoops, sorry, the lights got off. Center. Okay, there we go. His knee will go a full 90. His his ankle will go up. It will go down, and it usually is in that piston and it will still work like that probably just a little less probably like that not quite all the way up so that's another reason why it's not too bad to have this down but uh i am going to try to glue them back on but there's that and that and he he has the ankle but no ankle pivot really but he does have that nice ankle up and down that's going to be the end of my review um leave a like if you like the video got something to say leave it in the comment section below subscribe if you haven't already and share with your friends and we'll catch you next time guys peace